Hello everybody and welcome to I'll show you how to implement environment variables into your code base. I will be doing this with Node.js and Express, but you don't need to necessarily use Express. I'm just using Express because that's the most common thing I use environment variables with. It works with any uh, uh, any Node.js application. So I have a very simple Hello World Express application here. And to add environment variables, we need to install the package called .env. So I'll do that real quick. Now to actually set them up, you just require this at the top, uh, topmost part of your code at the entrance file. So in our case, in my case, index.js, it will be the main file that I start the program with. This is where you should require .env and initialize the config method. Now you can go more through the docs here, and then you could also um, specify, specify a specific path to the uh, .env file, which will hold all the variables, the encoding, etc., etc., and read more about it there. The most simple way to do it is the most simple setup for it is to just require .env and then um, initialize the config method at the top, and then create a .env file, which will actually hold all the end environment variables. In this case, I'll I'll create two variables: the uh, the port one, uh, which is quite common when Express applications, because as you can see here, we have a port. We're using it in multiple places, and uh, if we want to change it, for example, for our production application, maybe we want to set it to 5,000 for the production, uh, it will be easier to set it in an environment variable because if you have just two environment ver environment files, one for d debugging and development and one for production, you could just swap it out and all the, the connection strings, the ports, stuff like that could be easily switched out without you having to go into the code and switch it out in there. Also, you do not commit environment files or .env files, which uh, makes it more secure because you don't put your ports, which who really cares about ports, but uh, a more important thing is that you do not put uh, your connection strings that include authentication, uh, you don't put your secret keys that are used to encode specific um, payload stuff like that. For example, if you are using JSON web tokens, as you can see here, you are using a private key to encode and sign your tokens. This private key should be kept in a separate file. And a common way to do this is to create a .env file using the .env package and then load the secret key from there because uh, you don't commit the .env file so no one will have access to it and there will just one one copy of the .env file with the secret key on the production machine. So unless someone has access to the production machine, they won't be able to um, hack your stuff and know your secret or well, private key. So since we have this port in here uh, and we require this at the top, we can remove this constant here. And in order to access a value of values of environment variables, all you need to do is say process env and then the name of the environment variable in our case it's port and now anywhere in the code base i can do this so let's just do that and let's do node index.js and the application starts and as you can see example app listening port 3000 so that works as it should now another reason why this is very convenient is because you only need to do this once so if you let's say define a variable here like const test right and you give it a value of test if you want to use this in other files, you need to export this uh, value, like module export, and then import it in other places. With environment variables, you do not need to do this. So because so we um, initialize the .env package and the config uh, method up here, we can still use uh, all the environment variables in other files in the code base. Uh, let's say in this example file, I have this example test route. So let's say we define a new variable called um, secret value and we say some secret bro All right so let's say we want to use this value in we, we can use this value in any other file in the code base in this case i'll use it in the example so here when we go to slash i will just return this value not port but secret value like that now all we need to do is say const uh, test uh, route it's gonna equal require dot slash route slash example and then we can define let's say app use slash test let's use this test route so now if we start our application and we go to this URL so localhost three thousand slash test oh that's 
flash test some secret bro as you can see the environment variable is used here even though we because we initialize it right here so it is very convenient for passing specific values everywhere in your code base as well as keeping those values a secret because usually the .env files are not committed and it's easy to switch out production and uh, uh, debug slash development values thank you for watching hope you can find this useful and use it in your own project and bye bye